Welcome to Microsoft Azure. If you follow my recommendation, then hopefully you'll set up this account with your Azure Educational Grant and you used a burner email, meaning you could actually share the credentials within your team so all team members have potential access to Microsoft Azure. Again, once this is set up, you don't have to really deal with the billing portal anymore. You have six months, uh, $100 credit uh, for every month. And then also, once you actually have set up your virtual machine running WordPress in here, then there is really no real need for going in here and configuring. But I would like to have everybody be able to take a look under the hood and see how this is set up and see a couple of the options here to get a better understanding of cloud computing and how this works. Let's set up your virtual machine running WordPress. When you log in here first time, you'll see nothing. So I have a couple of different things set up already, so ignore this. Under virtual machines, and in your case, you won't see anything here yet, we'll have to first create an image. So click on images, and then we will browse the virtual machine depot to select one of those options that we want. We will use a virtual machine image provided by Bitnami. And provided means they already pre-configured it and made it available here in the depot. So uh, we can just click on Ubuntu, uh, it's going to be the operating system, and then scroll down where you'll see WordPress. So the latest version as of uh, October 2015 for WordPress is WordPress 4.3.1. So we will pick WordPress 4.3.1 running Ubuntu, but not the multi-site version will run the standalone. So if you select this one, you will uh, you should see Publisher is Bitnami and then running WordPress 4.3.1. This image contains the Ubuntu operating system, which is Linux, and then it will also set up PHP, MySQL database, WordPress 4.3.1, and the Apache web server. So right now we're just selecting this image to be made available for us for installation later. Choose that image, 4.3.1 WordPress, Ubuntu 14.04, uh, and then click Next. And we'll have to decide where to set this up. Once you have selected the proper region, West US in our case, you'll have to create a storage account. I already have one here. But otherwise, you just click on Create New and give it a storage account name. And then click the checkbox to complete the setup. Now that image will be made available. Getting the image ready might take a moment. So you'll see uh, retrieving the status and then copy in progress. And you can actually click on the button here on the lower right to see what's happening. And it will tell you it's currently copying the image. Don't be discouraged if this starts pretty slow. It will actually speed up and go fairly fast. So this took me about five minutes. Now it says pending registration. So you see here image WordPress was copied successfully. You'll need to register. So all we need to do is click on register and that image is going to be available for us. Now we can actually install a virtual machine from this image. Let's go back to instances. In your case, there won't be any here yet. And then we can click on new compute virtual machine from gallery. Now you can click My Images and you'll see the available image for installation. Now select it and click the arrow to continue to the next menu. On this screen, there are a couple of options that you'll need to pay attention to. First, give the virtual machine a name. I'm going to call it Test, as I already have one running and this one I'll delete later on. I'll pick a name. In your case, you might call it your group name. The service tier is going to be the performance configuration. So we'll select standard and we'll select the A2. That means it's going to be two cores, 3.5 gigabyte of memory. This means we should end up with roughly 90 bucks a month. So if we look at the A2 configuration, you'll see this should end up with $89 a month, well below the $100 allowance that we have. Give your virtual machine a username and then we'll provide a password. So remove the SSH key upload, select the password, and then give your machine a password. Once you have selected your configuration, click on the next screen. This is where you'll create a new cloud service. 
and the cloud service DNS name will be your new URL, meaning this will be your web address where you'll be able to access your WordPress site. So I'm going to leave it at dcomectest.cloudapp.net. This should be something that is associated with your group name, your city name. Chances are the ideal name or the exact group name might not be available. So pick something that has your group or city name uh, in it so we can distinguish the sites among each other. Pick your region. Again, it's going to be Western US. And then also make sure that the site has an HTTP endpoint. So not just SSH, but we'll select HTTP port 80 to be available for the site. Advance to the next screen and then confirm the settings there. On this screen, you can leave everything as, as is and simply click the checkbox to complete the setup. Now the Microsoft Azure platform will configure the virtual machine for you. As you'll see here, the creation of the virtual machine is underway. Again, this might take a few moments. So you'll see here the virtual machine has been uh, successfully configured. You can click OK. So if you click on virtual machines now and uh, you're on instances, you will see that your virtual machine is ready and you have the configuration set up. You'll also have something now that is called a cloud service here where your machine will be shown up as well and this is actually your URL. You can click on it and it will lead you to your new instance of WordPress running on this server. So if you click on the URL and the cloud services here, it will lead you to your new web server. Congratulations, you have a virtual web server running. Uh, running Ubuntu Linux, Apache web server, MySQL, PHP, and WordPress on top of it. Now you're not done yet completely, there are a few things you'll need to set up before you can call it a day. Right now, this instance of WordPress uses the default setup as configured by Bitnami. That means, since your web server is now running on the internet, available for everybody with this URL, and the password and username is a default, anybody on the internet could go to your server right now and log in and configure it or do some sort of damage. So you want to secure it by logging in and changing the password. As you might have noticed, there is a Bitnami button here in the lower right hand corner. And if you click on that one, it will show you the current setup as well as the default username and password. You can always simply log in into your site by going to your URL and adding forward slash WP admin, and it will redirect you to the logging page. And then you're logged in into the admin dashboard for WordPress. Click on users. Here's our uh, existing user and let's edit this person. Now you cannot change the username, but we can change the password. So click on new password and you can simply type one here if you want. Right? I'm going to hide this here. So let's uh, pick a new one. Now that I have changed the default user, and the site is a little bit more secure. That said, I'll better memorize or write that password down or create the additional users. So let me just actually create a new one here and make sure that this new user, if you create one for yourself, is going to be an administrator. The first user you should create is going to be yourself. Uh, but before you create the other members of your team, you'll need to make sure that the site can actually send out emails to send those user credentials to them. Uh, by default, Microsoft Azure does not allow sending out emails, so we will need to install a third-party plugin to enable that functionality. So let me create my own user here. Once you've done that, you have the default user as an administrator with a modified password, and you have created yourself with your own password. That way, Hopefully you won't forget the password. Uh, at this point, if you would forget your password, you cannot even do a password reset because the site cannot send emails yet. Go to plugins and add new. And you want to install the send grid plugin. So search for send grid and then select send grid installation going to take a moment and we'll have to activate this plugin. Last but not least, you'll need to configure the SendGrid 
plugin. So scroll down to the plugin, click on settings, and you'll have to provide the user credentials. Change the authentication method to username and password. SendGrid is a company providing external email service for a variety of companies. You can either create your own free account or use the credentials that I provided in your iLearn instructions for setting up the site. And then you'll have to enter the password as well and update the settings. If it says option saved, that means the username and password has to be accepted. Otherwise, it will create an error message. Now you could also send a quick test message and see if it works. If things go well, you should receive that email. As you can see here in my case, I received the email. So the email functionality is working now. Once you have email functionality working on the site, you can invite the rest of your teammates. So again, go to users, add new, create a username for them, enter their email address, which you should have from group project part one, and then make sure that you set the role to administrator. Now, if you hit add user, they will get an email with their new username and password, and they'll be able to log in and play with the site as well. Your team members will then receive an email like this and be able to log into the site and configure their account. At this point, the initial setup is almost done. I recommend you click on the update link to make sure you update the site and the installed plugins and themes to the latest versions. So select all plugins, update them. So you have the latest version of the site, the plugins and the themes. Click on the dashboard and you'll see your new site. Now the fun starts and you can focus on the instructions for the group project for part two. Once you click on the dashboard in the upper left hand corner, you'll see the main configuration pages for your site. You'll have the new option for setting up new posts and pages and all the main configuration items on the left hand bar. Now it's time to start watching some of the videos that are recommended in the instructions and start focusing on the tasks for project part two. Hopefully you realize this wasn't too bad. In less than half an hour, you set up a virtual server running a content management system on the web. And now you can start tinkering with it and enjoy the fun and the beauty of WordPress and its options. I wish all the teams a lot of fun with this project. This is really a roll up your sleeve hands-on project. So please don't be scared of the technology. You can't really do much damage. Worst case, we'll just set up a new site. As you've seen, it would take us less than half an hour. So don't hold back, test it. This is about learning and doing and having fun with it. So enjoy.